fixed point allows us to perform calculations on non-integer values using just integer operations. And we will do it using the fdiv instruction. An overflow can happen when the result is too large to fit back into the precision of our number system. Let's begin. In this example, we are asked to take one 16-bit value in n, multiply it times 12.34, and store the result in m. If we plot this on the graph, we see that n is the input and m will be the output. And all will go well as long as n exists in the range of 0 to 5310. In that way, m will go from 0 to 65,000. The problem did not specify what to do if n is greater than 5,310, in which case the result will not fit back in the 16-bit variable. We saw in the last example that we could represent non-integer values with a quotient of two integers, such that if we were to multiply n by 1,234 and then divide it by 100, we could perform this operation. However, the intermediate value of 1,234 times the largest value n can be, which is 5,000, that's about 5 million, and it's a fairly big number. So, what other way could we do it? We could try simplifying it, in other words, reducing the fraction. And so we see that 617 times n divided by 50 would indeed perform the operation. But again, 5,000 times 600 is still a very large number, too big for our 16-bit register. We could search for other pairs of integers, such that the quotient is equal to 12.34, but rather than do that, we're going to try it with the fdiv instruction. Remember, fdiv is equivalent to this operation, register D multiplied times 65,535 divided by register X. That quotient is stored back into register X. Remember, we're trying to solve m is equal to 12.34 times n. If we can find a constant such that 12.34 is equal to 65,536 divided by that constant, then we could implement this operation with the fdiv instruction. In general, the fdiv instruction can solve a class of problems like this one as long as this multiplying factor is greater than 1. That means that the constant will be less than 65,536. So, to find that constant, we take 65,536, divide by 12.34, and get a number that looks like this, 5310.85. And we're going to approximate the 5310.85. We're going to approximate that by 5311. In specific, we're going to use the fdiv instruction to implement this operation, 65,536 times n, then divided by 5311. And that will be approximately equal to m equals 12.34 times n. So, to use the fdiv instruction, we'll bring the value of n into register d using the load d n. And we'll bring the constant 5311 into register x using the load x pound 5311. After executing the fdiv instruction, register x has the quotient of 65,536 times n divided by 5311. Register d would have the remainder of that division. And the last step is to store the result into the variable m. And this assembly code successfully implements the portion of the curve that was defined in our problem. And that is, if the input is between 0 and 5311, then the output will go from 0 to 65,525. But the problem didn't say what to do if the input were too large. In other words, if the input were larger than 5310, the fdiv instruction could not put the result back into register x. It's too big, and therefore an overflow would have occurred. The fdiv instruction sets two condition code bits on overflow. The v bit is set if the result is too large. 
that's this red portion of the curve. The C bit would have been set on a divide by zero. In this particular case, the divisor is fixed at 5311, and therefore we can't have a divide by zero in this problem. And we could have checked the overflow bit after the FDIV instruction, such that if the V bit is clear, that means the result is correct, and we can store that value X into register M. However, if the V bit happened to be set, then we're in this red portion of the curve. And in that case, what we could do is maximize the output, put a ceiling on that output of 65,535. And that means when the output M is equal to 65,535, we've had an overflow. So in summary, we used fixed point to represent this non-integer value of 12.34. And we did it using the two integers, 65,536 and 5311. And that quotient is approximately equal to 12.34. And second, we use the FDIV instruction in order to perform this multiply and division in one step, making our program run real fast. And thirdly, we considered overflow. Overflow occurs when the output is too large to fit back into our register. In this case, we used a conditional branch instruction such that the output had a particular value if it were not correct. Thank you very much.